Hey, what's up guys, Paul Munoz here. Welcome to this video series where I'm gonna show you some really cool tips and tricks for Wacom users. So I'm gonna start with my absolute favorite trick in terms of workflow and productivity that allows you to map the touchscreen of your Cintiq into a different monitor. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so here we are in ZBrush and this is pretty much the software that I use to, to sculpt my characters and create uh, my, my 3D objects and my 3D concepts, right? Um, but in this case, I'm working on this guy that I'm just trying to exaggerate the anatomy and create something a bit more stylized, but I still use references of real anatomy to, uh, to create the volumes and that sort of thing. So I have a second monitor. Let me just show you what that looks like. So here's my second monitor and I have a, a software called PureRef which uh, allows me to basically collect images and a bunch of really cool references where I can see the insertion of the muscles, all of that good stuff, right? So I have that on my second screen, but I could obviously, you know, bring it into the Cintiq monitor and, you know, have it floating here and I can start sculpting and that sort of thing. But if you have two monitors, it only makes sense to put this one on the left-hand side. Now, here's where things get really interesting. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Cintiq. I have an ergo stand, so it allows me to sort of like pull things very easily, uh, set it wherever I want to, you know, start sculpting. So this is a comfortable um, ergonomic area for me. I'm going to use my pen to start sculpting, and then obviously I can look up uh, and start, you know, referencing my images. Now, the trick is that the Cintiq Pro that I'm using is a touchscreen as well. So I can map the touchscreen of the Cintiq, but into a different monitor. So I'm going to use my fingers to essentially move around and you see even though i'm touching the cintiq i'm manipulating the second monitor right and you, if you have like a third monitor or whatever you can totally map it in different ones so you know let's go ahead and let's say if i'm going to concentrate on the hand of this character for example i just want to start sculpting here and adjusting some volumes i can just go ahead and uh, find my reference here zooming in and out just like the normal pinching that you would do and you know concentrate on the hand let's go on the other side here and i can start sculpting around now, this looks like a very simple trick, but it enhances your workflow so much because you free up your hands, basically. You have your hand for sculpting, and then you have your hand that uh, potentially have, like, um, you know, shortcuts or, like, the express keys at the back of the Wacom uh, Cintiq or anything like that. But if you want to just, you know, change the, the reference that you're using, you don't have to, you know, switch to a different mouse or anything else. You just go with the, with the touch screen and find the new reference that you want. Right? And you can keep doing this and try to find the one that you're using uh, as reference to continue sculpting. So it is a fantastic tool. Now, here's how you do it. All right, so the first thing to do is bring in the control panel of your Windows. And like I said, this is a Windows thing, not necessarily a Wacom property. So you can click on the Wacom tablet properties and you can go ahead and click on the touch screen and you know, um, change all the gestures and all of that. But we're going to leave this for a different video. Now, this is not in here. You just need to click on tablet and PC settings. So I'm going to click on that one. And this window will pop up that allows you to configure the touch screen and the pen settings. So in this window, I'm going to click on configure here at the top. And it's going to ask you what do you want to configure, the pen input or the touch input. So I want to click on touch input. Now you see that my three monitors go blank. And I have a text in the middle that says uh, tap the screen with a single finger to identify the touch screen. Now, I'm not going to do that right now because it is displaying in my Cintiq. So I'm going to press enter. It will go to my different monitor or to a different monitor. Press enter again, and then I have the text on the monitor that I want to map the touch screen. Now, when I see the text in the screen that I want to map, I'm going to touch the actual uh, Wacom Cintiq. So I'm going to click on that one, and it's telling you uh, press enter to proceed. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to press enter now, and that's it. It is being calibrated, so I can, again, bring in my references. And let's go ahead and collapse this. Uh, we don't have to do anything else. And I have my touch screen map to this one. If you want to map it to a different monitor, all you have to do is repeat the same steps that I just showed you, uh, but select, obviously, a different screen. That's all you have to do. So there you have it, a very simple thing to do, but it is going to enhance your workflow quite a bit. All right, I'll see you in the next tip. Cheers.